Hey guys, as always, thanks for tuning in. So I got a pretty big release for you, version six of the Pixelcade LED software. Um, lots of new features. I'm gonna show you this demo from my phone. So there's now mobile apps for both iOS and Android, but you could also do the same thing from any web browser on your network. All right, so the first new feature is you can set the default marquee directly here from Pixelcade Companion. So there was a way to do it in the old version, but it was a little hokey, so now it's much easier. So let's say you have your own custom image. So I'm gonna go ahead here at upload custom image and you can choose your file. It's gonna upload that into the app. Just hit write mode, tap it, and it's automatically gonna write that as your default marquee. Now, in addition to that, you can actually write any image or animated GIF that's in the app. So let's say for example, you've got the art pack, go over here to animated, um, Art Pack comes with a lot of various marquees. See, there's the shop cat right there. Um, so let's go ahead and do the same thing. Hit write mode and let's pick one. This is a long one, so this is gonna take a while. So we added this progress indicator. So you see here in the bottom of your screen, it's just gonna give you uh, an update on how long it's gonna take to write this one. Um, while it's writing, you don't wanna do anything else. If you happen to click on something, it's gonna give you a message like that, just telling you to wait. So just, uh, you notice the screen is blanked out, just wait for it to come back. All right, so you can see it's done writing. That's gonna show that default image. So the next feature is we've got a bunch of uh, what we call widgets. So if you go over to widgets and then go to widget settings, and sports was here before, but we've made some changes. You can now change the refresh intervals. So that's here. Um, let's see, let's pick basketball, for example. I'm just gonna say start sports ticker. Oop, I picked baseball, my bad. Basketball. Okay. So it's gonna show you various scores and upcoming games. Also, we've got a few uh, customers now from Europe. So just for you guys, we added European football teams. So you'll see those here as well. And like I said, you can also change the refresh interval. So let's say you're watching a basketball game. You know, the score changes often. You can have it change, update every 15, 30 seconds, etc. If you're watching the whole league, then maybe, you know, for football, you want to do once every two minutes. So that's all configurable. You can also pick a specific team. So if you're just watching a particular game and you don't want it to scroll through all the football teams, then just put your favorite team here and it will do that as well. So that's sports scores. Um, next one is we've got a stock and crypto ticker. And so this is gonna scroll any stock symbols that you add. So let's say that I wanna add a new symbol here. I'll just type in one, hit add symbol and you can also add crypto. So if you go over here, you can pick your favorite crypto. So let's say I wanna add Ethereum. So I've just added those. Let's say I wanna change the ticker to green. And then again, you can control the refresh. So I just have it defaulted to one minute. And now you've got your stocks that you want as well as your crypto. So that's the stock and crypto ticker. And we also have news. So this is pretty cool. So right now, by default, it's set to a Yahoo News source, but you can just pick a bunch here. And I'll just pick some at random here just to show you. And then now just hit Start News and it shows you a nice little cool news ticker. And same thing, you can set the refresh interval. Right now we have it to refresh every hour. Um, you can also change the scrolling speed. So if you want it to, to scroll a little bit faster, I can do faster, do that again. And then you can go really fast. That's probably a bit too fast. So that is all configurable you can play with. I'm gonna put it back to the normal scrolling speed there. Um, you can also set the default fonts within Pixelcade. So when you launch a game, it, you know, it says now playing text that font and font scrolling speed, that's all now configurable here. So have, uh, go ahead and play with that as well as the color. If you wanna play around with scrolling text, you can just do that there and see what the different fonts 
look like, for example. So if I pick a different, let me just play around here, just pick a different font size. So you can just experiment, find a font that you like. Um, there's also a clock widget. So here's the clock. Um, again, you can play around with the color. Let's pick uh, orange. Do I want to show seconds? So that's all configurable as well. Uh, let's see what else we got here. So that's the widgets. Once you kind of set the default settings for the widget, um, you can just go here and say, I want to hit sports. Just hit sports and it's going to, um, oops, just hit sports and it's going to go back to whatever you'd saved in the widget settings. Those, those all, all save and then when you launch the app again, those settings are all saved for you. Okay, so um, what else? We have artwork updates. So the community is, is really good about updating artwork. I update artwork, but the community does as well. Um, whenever someone updates some nice artwork, I update the master repo. And so you can always go here, let me go back, and just go to update artwork. And if you see this button highlighted, update core artwork, that means there's artwork available. So just go ahead and press that. And it's going to give you a little message here. The message will be different depending on if you're on Windows or Linux. Um, but just go ahead and let that run. You can also purchase the artwork, the art pack from here as well. That's of course optional because there's lots of artwork included out of the box. Let me go back. Um, there's also, this has actually been here the whole time, but there's also a nice um, log. So if you ever have a support question or oftentimes, um, you know, maybe you have your favorite game, it's missing artwork, um, just check this log. You can go here, it'll tell you exactly what's going on. You can cut and paste that into our Discord and someone will help you out. So we hope you enjoy the new release. As always, please do give us your feedback. And then lastly, I just wanna say a big thanks to Nix and Wild Coder. They helped me tremendously on this release and in general on Pixelcade. So thank you so much, guys.